Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you on how to create your own custom thumbnails for your YouTube videos. So, I'm going to use Photoshop CS6. Create a new project and set the width to 1 to 80 pixels and the height to 720 pixels. Change to 300. Now, create a new layer and choose the wallpaper image that you want to be in the background on your thumbnail. I'm going to choose this one and go to open it up. I'm going to convert this to smart object, rasterize this late layer just to drag it to the thumbnail project. So I'm going to resize it by clicking Ctrl plus T. I'm going to fit it with my screen, adjust the position. I'm going to make it bigger just to show the youtube thumbnails as a concept now it's fine now what we want to do is we want to add a new layer and get some wallpaper effects background or wallpaper indeed in google so let's search for wallpaper effects in the images section scroll down what what effect should we use hmm. Mm, oh. oh, wait a minute. This one, I want to use this one. Right click on the image, select copy image, then just press Ctrl plus V to paste it. Now, you need to resize this image. Ctrl plus T again, drag it. Then it's good. Now we want to set the opacity to 50. Then we're going to adjust the main wallpaper um, brightness. Select image adjustment brightness uh, 100. There, we have our back background now. We want to add a text. By the way, I'm using Popsy font. I'll leave the link to this font in the description below. I'll set the color to white. Adjust the size to your likings. I'm going to type in how to make. You need to uh, bring it up in the first position before your image wallpaper backgrounds just to make it clearer. Go to the blending options and check the stroke and drop shadow. Adjust the stroke size to your likings and then the drop shadow tab. Adjust the distance to 27, spread to 21, and hit OK. Now you want to adjust the position of this text. And you don't need to create a new text again, just name it 1. Then we're just going to duplicate this layer. Now, what we want to do is we want to select the 6 layer, 6 text layer, and right click on it, click duplicate layers. Now, this 6 cap text layers copies, we want to uh, wait, right click on it and convert to smart object, right click rasterize lay layer, and we want to bring it down here before the first text layer. We want to go to filter tab, blur, and we want to select the radial blur. Choose the spin, 
adjust the amount to 80 it's adjust it to your likings then click test hit ok it will process the radial blur and wait for it you see some kind of blur effects now this is what it looks like for me i'm using blur different blurs on different thumbnails it's up to you just adjust your likings or your effect likings now we want to search for an emoticon png or uh, you could also search for anime logos or something like that even your logo you can put it in the custom thumbnails so i'm going to s click this little name emoticon something copy the image then we want to click on the background remover magic wand and delete the excess um, background on this image by the way guys if you oh, wait if you're going to get some images from google don't you don't need to download those images every time just do this search for an image youtube png click on it right click on the image image after it finished loading and right click copy image on the layer control plus b just to paste it and there you go you don't need to download any images from the google anymore adjust the size and the positioning and there i'm going to adjust this one and there you have it it's now done to make custom thumbnails for your YouTube videos. Now I'm going to send it, save it to my desktop folder and I'm going to name this to YouTube thumbnails. That PNG is the format. Okay. And now let's see how it looks like on the Windows Photo Viewer or something. Yeah, it looks dope. Thank you for watching.